Okay, I want to show you what the rocks look like just right up off the beach. And I looked for flat, smooth rocks, and I actually came back with a whole bag full. So that's what they looked like before. And this is, I painted it so I can write on one side and um, paint to where the paints come out a little bit clearer. So let me show you how I'm going to make my little fish. This is one of the styles of fish that I'm going to use. And when I'm done, I'll show you um, all the different styles of fish that I painted. So let's start with this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an outline on it first. And this is a cute little pattern that I actually had seen on the internet. And I just thought they were adorable. That's the start of the fish. Okay, I've drawn my design on my rock. And now I'm just going to go ahead and paint it. I'm going to make a fish. Oops, I forgot to draw his little mouth. Every fish has to have a little mouth. If you hear slurping and sorry, my, <laughs> my granddaughter knocked a paint over on me. Sorry. If you hear slurping or, or chewing in the background, it's my dogs, of course, who have to do that while I'm videoing. And it always helps if you're painting a rock to put like a base coat first of something. It helps the, the colors to show up better. And I just like um, using white as a background. Sometimes if um, I'm doing uh, like dot painting, you know, Aboriginal dot painting, I'll do use the black background and then do the light color dots on top. But on the fish, I'm going to use a white background. Okay, so that's going to be his face. And around the outside here of the body, I'm going to use dark green. Personally, I really enjoy painting on rocks for some reason. It's just satisfying. And these rocks I'm going to sell. I saw um, a little legend about the painted rocks while I was in Gold Beach. And they're supposed to bring you good luck fishing. If you have a fish painted rock and you give it to a fisherman, Supposedly, that fisherman has good luck fishing. So I thought, I'll just paint a bunch of them and I'll take them to the craft fair and uh, tell about the legend. Maybe some fishermen might like to take the rock just for fun and put it on their boat as uh, a part of the fishing legend. I thought it'd be rather fun. So that's why I decided to do fish. I have done other drawings, like 
uh, little lighthouses and different kinds of things. But uh, this legend that I saw at Gold Beach just really, that's Gold Beach, Oregon. I just thought it was really a cute idea. And I'm not really superstitious or anything. I just thought it was a cute legend. And I thought it might be just something cute to have on the dash of your boat or something or in your tackle box, just as a conversation piece, maybe. Okay. And now I'm going to do the scales of, with the light green. As you hear my doggy crunching in the background, they always wait until I'm going to film something and they're either slipping water or crunching their food. So please excuse the crunching sound. It's my puppies. I think these are just cute little fishes. And I'm actually going to do a variety of fish. Um, this is a quick one, I, so it just gives you an idea of what I'm doing. And when I'm done with all my fish rocks, then I'll give you a picture, a sample of all the different varieties that I did do. My grandchildren, um, when we were at Gold Beach, actually picked up rocks and uh, it seems to be quite the tradition over there on Gold Beach is to leave painted rocks everywhere. So they painted some rocks and they left them in flower beds, they left them outside our hotel. And it was actually kind of a fun thing to do. I know um, I did read some people, some things from people that were negative about rock paintings, you know, to leave them in the forest and whatnot because animals try to eat them thinking that they're something edible, but that was not the case in our case. Um, hold on just one second. Okay, so now I'm going to um, put some more red here on his little mouth. And I always paint over the lip of the rock, around the end, you know, on the edges here, kind of underneath a little bit, not just on the top. I kind of go around over the side and fold it down. And I think I might uh, get a little white. Them a little outline. And maybe
Okay, let's see what we have to do. Ah! Don't do that, by the way. <laughs> pick, try to pick the rock up before it's, it's dry. My goodness, and you have fingerprints on it. We'll just fix that right up. I'm sure no one wants my fingerprints on these rocks. Okay, now I'm going to uh, take the light, light green. You know, I might as well give him an eye. And for that, this is kind of primitive way to do it, but I'll show you why I do this later. And I just dab it in the white. And then, boop, there's an eye. And I'm going to put a gem there to make it fancy it up a little bit, so I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so next, let's, I need to have some dots. So what I'm going to do is take light green and dot down the side. I visited Australia several years ago and became absolutely fascinated by Aboriginal art as when they used the dot painting. So I have done some dot paintings on rocks. I might show you some of those in a moment, or one of them anyway. My granddaughter would like to show you one that I did that's her favorite. totally fascinated by the Aboriginal art in Australia. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just dotting around the fish. Okay. And, sorry about my arm getting in the way there. It got tired for me to figure out how to do the camera angle properly. But uh, you can see a little fishy starting to take form there. I'm going to put a dark. Right. Here we get each one of these little things here. On each of these little platelets. Here we go, and yeah, I think that's all I can do with the mama. I've got to let him dry for just a moment before I can finish because we need to put some fins on. So let's let him dry for a second, and I'll be right back. Okay, so at this point, I have my rock painted. You can see my little fish. And what I'm going to do now, turn around so you can see, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give him an eye. And I use crazy glue to put my gems on my fish.
and he has a little crystal eye. And then I'm going to take my smaller gems and use the green. And I'm going to just decorate here and there. his body sometimes these are hard to get off good grief that was hard And these are just those little cheapy gems that you get at the dollar store or at Walmart. And I just kind of put them randomly. his little scales just just to give him a little bit of bling He's giving me difficulty today. <laughs> and my doggy is grumbling in the background, of course. right by your feet. No, she's laying there grumbling. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call that a finish on this fish. See? It's got a all painted he's got a little bit of bling on him make him a little fancy and this is my fish and these are the type of fish I'm making and I'll show you um, a variety of fish that I've made um, in just a second here but these are I'm going to sell these at a craft fair and these are for good luck fishing rocks you put these on your boat or take them with you put them in your tackle box and Legend has it, they're supposed to bring you good luck fishing. So thanks for watching. I'm